to Monbon. Hello, Bonnie. It's been so long since I did a video. Shoot, my battery is low. Okay, first thing, I got a microphone. Hopefully it's cleaner audio. We'll see. Anyway, okay, this week I wanted to talk about the cool and lovely things in life because I think we don't appreciate the little moments. It's easy for me to be like, look at this big piece of progress that I've made. It's harder to reflect on the lovely little moments that make every day nice. So I want to do that. This video I'm going to talk about some bigger things and then I just took all of the video footage that I've had for the past few months and threw it together. And here it is! So one of the big things that's happened recently is that uh, Kristen's got a cat and her name is Vida, and she's a lovely black cat. I've never really been close to any cats, really. I've always been a dog person, and I've always gotten along with any and every dog that I've met. Cats are much more picky, but I'm starting to really love this cat, and she's very sweet. One of the things that Vida really likes is the bathtub. For some reason, after someone takes a shower, she runs in there. She even paws at the door, meowing to get you out, and as the last few drops are falling, she attacks them. She'll happily sit in a wet tub. It's very strange. In January, I built for her some shelves to climb on. When she was first picked up from the shelter, she was found hiding way up high in the rafters, and so I thought she'd like something to climb on. She wasn't really that into it, or maybe she didn't know how to get up, so we used to throw her up on the shelves, and she seemed, she seemed pleased with herself when she was up there. I've grown to love this cat, even though I'm a dog person. So now that she's gotten more used to climbing up the shelves, sometimes someone will throw a little ball up there and she'll chase it and knock it down. And then it's a game of uh, volleyball, basically. Uh, someone throwing it up and her batting it down. And it's pretty fun to play with her. I think she's getting accustomed to these shelves. You know, I've really come around in the past few months about cats. They're not so bad. And this one's pretty great. Why are you not rubbing my belly right now? The next thing I want to talk about is snow. It snowed a lot here in the past few months. There's something so calming to me about snow. Here's some footage I took of the snow walking away from work. It's pretty deserted as you can see. I've also got some footage of what the street normally looks like with lots of foot traffic and trucks and stuff. They're doing this new thing, Bonnie. Instead of plowing the sidewalk, they've got these giant machines with bristles and they brush the snow away. And I was about to film this guy coming across the road when from around the corner, these two guys come walking. They've got these walking lawnmower sized brush things to clear the sidewalk. It was just mind boggling. Anyways, here's some more footage of what the giant ones look like and they really just get rid of the snow on the sidewalk really well. I'm sure this method doesn't use with thicker patches of snow. And the snow just takes up the entire sky. Here I am on the tee, looking out at what should be the city. And in fact, I've got some footage of what this view looks like on a normal day. Holy moly, look at that view. Isn't that just spectacularly beautiful? I can't not look at this and just be amazed and wowed. It's amazing. Anyways, back to snow. So even with all the snow, the train system's running. And look, see those two lines right there in the snow? Those are the rails. It's pretty great that the train's still going. The whole world just seems to sort of be engulfed in the snow and quiet. Except for some people who are going out to play in the snow, of course. There's something so lovely about the first day of a snowfall. It kind of just feels like the whole world has shut down for a moment and I can just enjoy it peacefully. In the chaos of the world and, and living in a city, it's really nice to just have it muted a little bit. I really quite like the snow. So aside from cats and snow, the obvious two choices of things to talk about. Up next I've got just a hodgepodge of things that I have on my camera. So there was one night where I got up in the middle of the night to get water. I just turned off the light and it became dark. I was determined to go grab my cup of water. I turned on this light so that you can see what I looked like, but I'd spent way too long poking around the counter trying to find my glass of water. It's the little things, you know? So I've been doing a lot of improv recently and performing with my group and here I am pretending to be a worm with my friend. We're not even gonna turn on the audio here, it's ridiculous. But that's been a lot of fun just to uh, exercise my creative side. Ah, here's a random clip. In January I went down to the Women's March on DC. It was really fun to be there and be surrounded by people who are nervous in this year, to say the least. And I encourage you to surround yourself with people who care about the same things you do. I went to my friend's birthday party. Yeah! I 
invited all of her friends over and told everyone to bring an instrument, bring a song, be ready to sing, and just experience music all together. Which was a really great idea and a really fun time. And it made me think about how much I miss having music in my life. And to close out, I've got a video of these mover guys getting uh, my couch into my apartment when I moved in, in September. In watching these videos again and, and thinking about these memories and events, I'd like to reflect on all of the small things. These are just tiny moments in everyday life. I think we forget to think about these small events and relish in the loveliness that is life. Appreciate the moments in life that make you smile, make you laugh, make you cry, make you happy, make you sad. Just appreciate life and what you are allowed to do with it. Oh my goodness. They got it. They got the couch there on the way too. <laughs> you guys are awesome. That's all I got for you this week, Bonnie. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. It feels weird to do a normal goodbye. I have to do like a whoa or something.